guys and uh, once again Danny Peterson today I'm gonna go ahead and do some side chaining tutorial um, there's several ways you can do side chaining in reason uh, what I use most is uh, I create a con like a compressor and I side chain the signal by that but I'll show you a couple of ways of doing it right now All right I'll start with a more technical view um, so I'll start with playing around with the subtractor right here I'll um okay I'll just write n like no pattern at all but something so we have something to sidechain okay okay there we go we have a signal here that we want to sidechain Right. So what I can do is I can make a matrix pattern sequencer and I can turn it, the resolution up to 1 to 128 and I can change it to curve and then I can basically just draw my curve here. So what I want to do is like this or something like that. And I'll go ahead and okay, yeah, of course, remove these um, and you press like you have to hook from the curve CV up to your input on your uh, mixer channel So right now it doesn't change anything Sounds okay. It does actually change something because I Yeah, okay So it, it side changes a, 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 a little bit right now But we can make it side change even more by turning down the mixer And we can turn this up too Oh shit so what I did was I took the curve CV, the MIDI input, and, and controlled it into the level of my mixer channel, which is connected to my subtractor. So now it, it does exactly what it's supposed to. It ignores what this is set to and just plays it exactly like this. And um, that's one way to do it. Um, and then, of course, you can like you can mix properly because you know the signal is you, you can't turn it up and down here, so you have to mix it on on the actual on the actual subtractor or whatever else your track is. Um, yeah, I'll go over another method right here. I'll I'll delete the uh, matrix right now, and I'll turn up the volume and just check that everything works. Yeah, it's it's still playing. Um, then I'm gonna go, go around and create a compressor. I'm gonna turn turn around uh, to the right view. I mean, to the, where you can see all the cables and thing by pressing tab. So you can see the subtractor goes from audio output into the compressor and from the compressor into the mixer again. Um, and then we gotta make a Let's say we make a Kong drum designer here and we have a drum pad here. So, and by the way, press shift when you create this, cause then it won't hook up to anything here. So we take the main audio output and put it into sidechain in on this compressor. And we tap back around again and we open browser to browse the sample for the drum pad one open browser. And we go to recent factory sound bank and go to let's see where's con patches sounds and patches we pick a let's pick um yeah let's pick this one so right now you can't hear this that's because it goes into the uh compressor sidechain so if you activate this, the solo, you can hear the track. So right now it sounds like this. So what you're gonna do is go to the sequencer view, and you gotta you gotta have to draw in like uh, how you want the side chain to be pushed. So it's of course a four four four, and we're gonna just paste it all over, and um, 
let's see how it sounds with the um with the solo thing off it's not any different really so let's play around with the ratio and the threshold you, now you can hear there's a, a lot of difference in the sound and you can play around with the attack and the and release there's a lot of things you can do here. So that was pretty much just two to, um, to ways of uh, sidechaining. Um, if you have any questions at all, just uh, write me a message on YouTube or on my fan page. Um, I hope you liked my video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.